Horticette, sausage, broccoli rub, and then toss in some clams. Boom, right on top. Okay, so we'll let that warm up, and we're gonna cook our, our pork sausage first. All right, boom, we're gonna open this up. All right, we're gonna take the pork sausage, drop it in. This is loose, what they call bulk sausage. If you find links, it's kinda cool. I, I like the shape of the loose bulk sausage, what you do is kinda break it up in bits, and it's kinda form these kind of loose, free-form little meatballs. And just kind of drop them in and let them brown. So we're gonna brown up all these guys and then, like I said, we're gonna hit it with some chili flakes. So it's got some spice. We're gonna hit it with some garlic because we're talking about Italy. And we're gonna hit it with some fresh thyme for a little bit of fresh, clean flavor. I like the uh, pork sausage in bulk because you can make sort of rough looking meatballs. I think they're gonna look really cool, kind of folded in right at the very last minute. Kind of rustic and really beautiful. Got some chopped up garlic, probably four or five cloves. And we're gonna throw that right on top. Get a little bit of chili flake. This is traditionally a very spicy dish. Uh, it's a really good to eat on a warm night. And then we're also gonna add some fresh thyme. Fresh thyme's a really good all-purpose herb for seafood. I think it just really tastes delicious with this. It's a nice little herb bite. Kind of sweetens the dish out, gives it a little more character. Clams look really gorgeous. We're gonna take the clams, kind of put them right into, and then we're gonna take a wooden spoon and just kind of give them a nice little toss around. And make sure all the clams are really kind of coated with pork fat. So what we're gonna do is kind of steam the clams open. I got a little bit of Italian white wine, which is gonna be great. All right, some white wine just left over. I'm right, gonna pour that right on top, about two cups. And we're gonna do is kind of steam the clams open. We got a lid, put it on top, say goodbye to the clams. More clams. Go right on top, they're gonna start to steam. And now with our uh, rolling, boiling water here, um, this is for our orecchette, uh, our pasta that we're gonna cook today. Um, we wanna make sure it's seasoned up. The Italians believe uh, when you're cooking pasta that the water itself should taste like the ocean because, I mean, pasta, it's made with stuff. It's made with really good durum wheat. It's made with eggs. Those things have a flavor, right? And so you wanna make sure that it totally season up the water so it tastes like the ocean. All right, so we've got a box of orecchette, which is very traditional, right? So take a look at these guys. All right. The ones that are made by hand are pretty special if you can find them in Italy. Not great. So these are dry. You can find them dry, you can find them fresh. I'm right, gonna throw them right into the water. And take that, just give it a good stir. All right. And then we are gonna cook up our broccoli rob. We're gonna cook that in the same pot uh, with the orecchette. I mean, why not? We got a pot of boiling water going. Why not just kind of kill two birds in one stone? So we got a nice big head of broccoli rob here. Now, if you're a fan of this, you're an absolute fan of it. If you've never had it, you should try it. It's really interesting. We just want the leaves. The woody stems on the bottom are very bitter. So you're gonna trim them down. And then we're gonna throw this right into the same pot as our orecchette, and they'll cook up at the same time. Give it a good stir. Look at that. Uh, we got these beautiful small little pork meatballs uh, called polpette. All right, we're gonna fold these guys in, and then we're gonna hit it with a little bit of extra virgin olive oil and some fresh cracked pepper. That's gonna be the base, and then I'm gonna take a spoon and just toss all this deliciousness together. Lots of chili flake and stuff going on in our sauce here, so this is gonna be gorgeous. Check this out. Boom, clam city, man, look at that. Uh, we got a little bit of butter here, like maybe three tablespoons. All right, we're gonna drop that right in. Take my spoon and just kind of give it a stir. I'm gonna crank up the temperature and hit with a little bit of extra virgin olive oil just to kind of let the sauce amalgamate a little bit, kind of come to like a nice kind of sticky glaze. All right, let that start to cook. Enough jabbering about it. Let's get it together. All right, check it out. Right in a bowl. Orecchette, sausage, broccoli rub, boom, right on top. That's heaven right there, man. Okay, then we got our pasta with clams on top of it, all ready to go. Look at that. Oh my God, that is fantastic. Pile it up nice and tall. Now, uh, some people um, have a thing about Parmesan cheese and seafood. I am not one of them. I, I like lots of Parmesan cheese in my pasta. That's absolutely beautiful, look at that. Nice big snow shower of cheese. All right, then we're gonna hit it with a little bit of uh, extra virgin olive oil and some pepper. And life is good, man. 